We are back from TFCon Chicago 2018. There is a large gap and a lack of episodes in between. We apologize for that, but when we do like the big Transformer shows, it kind of puts us in a podcast coma for at least yeah. for minimum of a week. So we're back, and uh, one of the big announcements at the end of TFCon USA 2018 was pretty much the date and location for 2019's USA show. And it's a lot sooner than you think, and it's a lot uh, further than where you originally probably had anticipated. Mm -hmm. Up until this point... Oh, it depends on where you are in the world. Yeah. Um, Up until this point, really, uh, TFCon, whether it be Canada or USA, has always been an East Coast kind of thing. And with the exception of the Charlotte show, which was not very successful, uh, most of them have always really been within that six hour distance between Toronto and Chicago or Washington. It's always been in that little bubble of the East coast, um, all this time, whether it be since the beginning of TFCon USA in 2000, I think we we're 2015. We first started or, mm. uh, TFCon Canada in 2002. And as it partakes to the likes of, uh, of just BotCon even, or HasCon, there hasn't been a transformer related convention of a large nature in the West Coast since BACON 2014. So it's been quite a while since pretty much anyone who's a Transformer fan in the West Coast got a really good fix of Transformers from a Transformer-related convention. They had to go to SDCC and get their fix or something else in the West Coast, but it's been pretty absent. So now TFCon brings it all back to the west coast or as some would say the best coast um <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know if i could agree with that but they have the best weather that's for sure hey um, they probably said it first they probably hey. did <laughs> um it was an east coast guy that said it uh we're gonna be going to los angeles for tfcon usa 2019 and a lot sooner than you think uh five months from this recording so it's going to be march 15th to the 17th at the los angeles marriott burbank airport um mm-hmm. in in burbank california so this is uh this is pretty awesome west coast is easily probably some of my favorite bacons ever although uh kentucky really uh really has a special place in my heart also so well, we lu- we lucked out on that yeah can, um, i think i find with kentucky like the the fact of Kentucky, uh, Louisville, Kentucky being Louisville, Kentucky, and just having a bunch of other stuff going on at the same time as Bacon. Yeah, which is pretty cool, I, I, th- I, I think in the case, that was an experience and a half. I think Louisville, yeah, like you said, is, was really was a uh, a lucky coincidence of a lot of things. An amazing deal room, uh, a really good uh, theme of the year that no way was influenced by me whatsoever. Um, great guests, uh, great location. Great, ho- amazing hotel. Still to this day, I think probably one of the best hotels I've ever been in mm-hmm. um, in my life. And I've traveled a lot. So that's, you know, it's the Kentucky Derby Hotel. But either way, so the West Coast Bacons, although really have a special place in my heart, and I've gone to those multiple times in, that, in those locations, whether it be San Diego or Pasadena. And I just love the weather. I love the just the ambience, the location. So Burbank's going to be really interesting. It's my first time I've ever been in Burba- Burbank, California. Uh, but we're going to be b- bringing the whole TFCon crew and everyone over there. And uh, the theme for this year, although we can't reveal much, is it's the Transformers Generation 1 reunion. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if, if you're a Transformer fan worth any of his weight in voice actor knowledge, you'd be pretty much easily able to figure out who's probably going to be showing up judging by the location that we chose so that's all i'm going to say there um don't ask any questions until they're announced but you could probably use your own imagination to figure it out uh that being said uh, i'm really excited about it it's only five months away so you know usually when we finish tfcon usa we kind of have to go well so you at tfcon toronto that'll be like the next stop and that's usually like, you know, nine months or 10 months away, but it's a lot sooner than we think. Yeah. We're very close. Because, um, I mean, when uh, TFCon Chicago ended, we were like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like it's six months. And it's already, that was like, you know, TFCon Chicago was like the end, the end of uh, October. So <laughs> yeah. saying five months, it's like, 
closer <laughs> you know just well not to mention like again it's it's something that i'm so used to when when the usa shows end because they're generally in september or october and it, we get like a nice little breather going. yeah we get like, a, oh, we okay. get a breather until toronto starts again in july um and in this case that's not the case and not to mention um because 2019 is also going to have a hascon wedged in there also it's going to be a very busy year 2019 to say the least but i'm actually happy that uh, TFCon USA is in March because it'll be March, then a couple of months will pass, then it'll be July and we'll have TFCon Toronto, then a couple of months will pass and then I'll have HasCon in uh, Rhode Island. So it'll be uh, it'll be a nice couple of months in between so I always have a chance to breathe and, and be able to recharge my battery for the next big Transformer convention. So TFCon USA 2019 Los Angeles, all you West, I- uh, West Island, West, Co- <laughs> West Coast uh, fans. Uh, get excited, get hyped. I know that uh, a lot of people that listen to the podcast who are in the West Coast were super excited about it. They were like freaking out uh, just because, like I mentioned before, even counting BACON, there hasn't really been anything Transformer related since 2014. So it's been a good four years with where they just had a dry spell of nothing. So this is awesome. Uh, let us know what you think. And uh, something I, I didn't ever think we were going to do, but well, it's happening now. <laughs>